Sup guys over of here, this video is gonna be an update on the StarkNet. As always at the beginning a couple of disclaimers, nothing here is financial advice, always do your own research and all information provided as is, so follow at your own risk. As usual, all links are gonna be in description. So I did my initial StarkNet airdrop hunting video about a month ago and it's still relevant, you can follow it. There's really haven't been too much development from a technical standpoint uh, network is still pretty laggy from like a depth standpoint there are several depths that come in into the ecosystem some depths migrating from test net to a main net but like compared to its peers for example like compared to zk sync the ecosystem development is sort of slow but luckily two main wallets on the start net bravos and argent x both holding promotions now, so we're gonna explore that. And we're gonna start with the Argentex, stating the official announcement. We're excited to launch the StarkNet Explorer campaign, eight NFT drops over the next eight weeks. Complete a different task each week to unlock an NFT. So for the first one, all you need to do is perform at least one transaction with your Argentex wallet address on the StarkNet mainnet uh, between April 1st and May 9th. And then on the May 9th, they will take the snapshot and users who are eligible can mint this first NFT. I assume this is an actual picture of the NFT. So after that, each week we should get the different tasks. So that's Argent X and what about Bravos? Bravos is also holding the campaign, but it works differently. The campaign is currently live and you can do it and it will be concluded on May 16th. Here you obviously need to do tasks with the Bravos wallet and for this one if you open your wallet and you go to dApps you see these dApps that you need to interact with where you need to do the transactions and if you also click here it will show you your StarkNet Pro score that's going to increase from your interactions with the dApps. And once you reach the score, you can go to the Azili and there are actually tasks to complete here regarding this campaign. And there is also a lot of stuff on the Azili. Unfortunately, I don't think Argentex has Azili currently, but if you're using Bravos, you can do a lot of stuff here if you haven't yet. And also the rewards of five participants in this campaign with the OG role. In general, I think in terms of like social development, Bravos is a bit ahead of Argentex. But again, I haven't been exploring too much of both ecosystems. So that's just my subjective opinion on the first look at them. And one app that I also want to show you, that's a Stark Fighters. That's uh, an arcade mini game with an actual prizes. So this is an actual game. You just basically need to survive as long as possible, not crashing uh, into things. So the longer you go, the higher you will be on the scoreboard. And here you can check the leaderboards. And as you can see, the first prize is one ETH and one NFT. And the prices go all the way down to I believe it's 50 and in order to participate in that you need the StarkNet identity so if you want dot stark domain it's mintable on this dapp StarkNet id you can check my initial StarkNet video for the reference but that's quite costly and the actually bravos wallet provides the possibility uh, to register bravos dot stark domain or if you haven't used the bravos yet on chain there is actually a possibility to completely free register and play again instructions are in description but you basically go here you connect your wallet and as you can see i can choose my subdomain also that's going to be connected to my bravos wallet i haven't used i haven't used the uh, bravos i've used argentex so this is like a perfect example my bravos wallet was just created so you can go here to subdomain register to play and your subdomain should be minted again transactions are pretty slow so that can take some time i assume so that's one way to participate for free with your bravos wallet and again more information you can find in their blog if you're already doing transactions for the potential airdrop of stocknet you can just kill two birds with one stone completing transactions on chain while also getting some benefits from the promotions themselves the one thing that sucks for stocknet is that you have two big players in terms of wallets they're not comfortable with each other so you like you cannot 
import one into another and use the same wallet address to participate in both campaigns. So you have to either pick a team or use both with a different wallet addresses. And that's obviously gonna cost you a bit more money for gas and a bit more time. But as always, think for yourself. I'm just here to provide the information. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please help with the sharing of this video, drop a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you soon.